Yo, what's good? Let's check out the new episode for Mushoku Tensei. Logo reveal. So, make sure you follow me on social media. Don't forget the YouTuber things. And if you want to check out any other reactions for this series, you can click this link right up here. It'll take you to that playlist. Shout out to our amazing patrons over on Patreon, getting access to the full length reactions of all of the anime from fall 2021 onward. If you want to join in and become a patron, then make sure you click the link down in the description. And that way you can get access to those full length reactions for the anime that I watch seasonally. And if you're interested in more exclusive reactions to full length series that I won't be editing and cutting up for quite a while, we've got a tier that. In the previous episode of Mushoku Tensei, we saw Rudy get his demon eye, which allows him to see a little bit into the future, just a little bit. And it uses mana that he puts into it in order to see a certain amount into the future. It's like a uh, foresight, foresight sort of like eye, which is really dope. And he gets it from that weird prelim lady. That's what we're calling her prelim because she's like a pre melim. I assume she's what melim is more or less kind of based on prelim gives him this eye after he helps her by giving her food and stuff. And there's a lot of funny moments throughout that. Uh, he uses this foresight eye in order to defeat Eris, which kind of like brings her down a little bit because she just wants to be able to help, you know? And if, if you are beating her in the one thing that she is getting better at, and especially so easily, then that's just gonna defeat her. And you wanna bring her up, not bring her down. By the end of the episode, he still hasn't seen Roxy. He just keeps on missing her. And he actually gets approached by Rougeard, who says, listen, I don't like doing bad things, but I understand that the only way we're gonna get across this sea is if we stow away and, and you know, like get smuggled across the sea. So just go for it. And Rudy's down with it. So Rudy's like, okay, so that's what we're going to do. And the whole thing happens because uh, Rudy was about to make some really bad mistakes, just like selling off things that are very precious to him. And Rejard's like, listen, I, I can't let you do that. Like, you're the homie, bro. And the reason why they have to do the stowaway thing is because it was going to cost excessively more than it would normally racism for any other person to go across because Rejard is seen as a spirit. So like it's it's fucked. But yeah, I mean, this is what happens. And they actually meet this guy who might be a smuggler who Rudy had saved previously in the episode. There's like a lot of things that happen in the episode. Beautiful animation. As always, I'm really excited. Hopefully we get our reunion between Rudy and Roxy. I would love that, though. It's quite possible that might not happen either. I don't know. But um, without further ado, check out the new episode I like the like the film grain that they put on this oh dude what kind of <laughs> she kind of reminds me of darkness a little bit is that her name darkness I think so get herself pregnant Jesus whoa Roxy oh oh shit Unless it's Rudy Romance. You know, that's what you're down for. Don't lie. Wait, did she used to be in a party with horse face or is that a different horse face? Or was that just what happened here? I don't know if that was like a flashback or... Damn. Damn. Nobody likes Paul. <laughs> Everybody looks down on Paul, dude. Paul be up to some shit. What in the world could Paul have done? Paul's a little hoe. What do you think, bro? What do you think he did? He did some hoe activity. He got hoe tendencies. Hoes be his friends and hoes be his enemies. All right, I'll stop. Using her womanliness to seduce these men. Don't fall prey to it. Bro, she freaky, freaky as fuck. I love the OP. I love the fact that it's not an OP. It's just always a montage and the song's good. Oh, that shit slaps, bro. I love it, man. Tetuendo. And they got a big ass crib here. It's Rudy. Oh, that's interesting. That is so interesting. I didn't think that would play into 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 this. Oh wait, no, no. Rujard is this is the dead end guy. <laughs> okay, there it is. That's the interesting thing. <laughs> but still, they just <laughs> yeah. Why do they do this to my man, bro? The kennel master, <laughs> Rujard. Uh, tiny mage who's always up to no good. That's funny. The guard dog's all right. 
If only you knew, little Roxy. If only you knew. Wait, Zenith and the girls too? Oh no, it's Zenith, Lilia, and whose daughter is, is Aisha? Is that Lilia's or Zenith's daughter? Fuck, bro, that's wild. Oh, so this episode's gonna show us their perspective? Roxy's perspective? The tiny kennel master. Dude. Oh, and that's why she's running through the streets right here. Oh my God. So many details. Oh, and that's her getting it. Bro, what kind of orgy gang gang was going on there, dude? What the fuck? She is up to ho good, dude. No good, you know, just <laughs> she kind of hoeing a little bit. Hey, nothing wrong with it, but I don't know how to feel about that, though. That's like literally just taking. S Bro. <laughs> Aw. Aw. Yo, she just. Aw, she's looking for like a fantasy and shit. Oh, no. They're leaving the area. That means they're not going to encounter one another. Fuck, dude. That sucks. That's sus. Is this actually what's happening or is this? He's got like a leaf on his. <laughs> Get wrecked. You don't do boats. Stop being weird. I don't think he's gonna act on it. You gotta go beat it real quick. That was him. <laughs> he just blew his. <laughs> he shot out his blowhole. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, props to him for not acting anymore. He is growing a little bit. I mean, he's still got pervy thoughts and shit, but, you know, he's growing some. Props to him for that shit. Are they kicking around an armadillo? What the fuck was that? <laughs> what the fuck? Prepared to get really messed up? Okay, the translation there must be fucking weird. <laughs> oh, some real smuggling shit. What the fuck? What the fuck is that? <laughs> that dog's huge. Oh, no. What the fuck? Damn, these people are shit, dude. Oh, Rujard's gonna murder everybody, dude. Rujard's gonna murder everyone, bro. Yes, sir. Murder. You kill children, bro. You're you're the worst scum in in, in Richard's book if you kill children. Fuck that shit. Fuck it. Kill him, bro. Slay out. Word gets out. What kind of words gonna get out? Ah, oh, dude. Come on, bro. Show him what's up, dude. He got a little green patch on his head now. Oh my god. The Chia Pet is here. He's gonna slowly push that into his fucking throat, dude. Oh my god. This is gonna be wild. Are they gonna show it or no? Save the kids! Healing. Don't be weird! Hey! Don't be weird. Stop being weird, Rudy! Someone's coming. Fuck him up, bro. Fuck him up. Oh, is it? It might be Rejured. Yeah, it's Rejured for sure. Shaved his head again? Oh. Aw. Oh, they big dead, bro. He murdered the fuck out of everybody. Don't look around. Keep your eyes forward. Heh. <laughs> <laughs> Puppy! 
Puppy's going to lash out, bro. You better watch out. Oh, is Puppy going to join the crew? <gasps> I saw a puppy butt just now. Ah. I've got a wife and a husband and oh. <laughs> Aww. Puppy! It wasn't lewd. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Damn, dropped him on his neck. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Ah! Oh, I love it, dude. I love it so much. <laughs> Yo, just wait until they try and they try something with with um, Rougeur, dude. Imagine. No shot. No shot. No shot, bro. Okay, calm down. Calm down. Are you fucking kidding me? I forgot how good Mushoku Tensei is at at jabating and leaving us hanging off of a fucking cliff, dude. I think I'm angry. <laughs> I think I'm actually upset right now at the fact that that just happened. That, oh my, ah. Uh, okay, let's just talk about the episode, okay? Calm down, Joe. Not a big deal. It's fine. Okay, so in this episode, we see that, uh, we see Roxy's side of what episode one was. So she sees everybody. They're trying to find Rudy and stuff. But they end up leaving after her, the elf lady, who is basically darkness. I mean, she does saw, she is, she is about that life. She is really about that life. Anyways. They end up leaving, then we cut back over to Rudy's story where Rejured does get smuggled onto the boat. They all end up leaving, whatever. And the, the exchange is this, right? So Rejured, he gets smuggled to the next continent. As payment, they have to rescue the, uh, the, the beast children that are there. Pretty much what happens while they're all caged up and stuff is that, oh, well, well actually, okay. Rewind. Rudy and Eris, they go. Rudy doesn't act on his weird, creepy shit, which is really good. He still thinks it, just doesn't act on it. I mean, he does act on it, but alone, you know I mean? Weird, but whatever, right? So that stuff's going on. Um, They get there safely. He goes off. I Eris is still just lying in that room. I don't know what the fuck's happening to her, but um, Rudy goes to save Rougeard and then the smuggling that they have to do in order to pay for the fact that Rougie, Rougeard went through is they must rescue those beast children. And so while Rudy is rescuing the beast children, Rougeard is slaying everyone. All of the smugglers, all of these bad people in there, slaying them all. Rudy ends up talking to the beast kids, takes them all out. They all end up leaving, but they're like, oh wait, what about the... What about Doggo? And then he's like, I'll go back for Doggo. So he goes back for Doggo, frees Doggo. Doggo is super floofy, right? And so he's like petting up Doggo. And then some beast people walk in and they fucking hit him with a, a Fus Roda that incapacitates him. He fucking ragdolls. And they are now on their, one of them is uh, the older one. He is going to see the beast children and Rejured. And I think that they'll explain exactly what happened. So that's good. Also, if he tries to attack Rejured, bad move. Honestly, either either one of two things is going to happen, right? Either he's going to try to attack and Rujer is just going to murder him or he's going to, you know, approach and they'll say, wait, don't kill him. And then, you know, things will work out well. It's one of those two things. And on the other side, the younger of the beast men, he takes Rudy on his back and him and the and Doggo, they are going to the beast place. I think that's where they are in the beast nation right now. Continents and stuff, right? So they're in the beast continent right now. They're rescuing the beast people. Um, yeah, man, great episode, beautiful animation. I loved seeing Roxy's side of things, which was really cool. Elf is mad freaky, bro, so freaky. Oh my God, dude. We find out that the, the ha huh ya noises that we heard earlier in, in the first episode that got Rudy all, uh -huh, that was actually the elf lady in a group of guys. Her and a bunch of guys. So I'll let you imagine. Well, I mean, we, we could basically get an idea of what happened, right? That was pretty wild. I like the fact that, you know, they still kept it pretty, uh, 
PG-13, you know? They didn't actually show anything. As a result of seeing that, because Roxy walks in on that, because she's scared shitless, because she actually sees Rougeard and Eris fighting and realizes, oh my god, dead end. That's when she runs. She runs into the place, sees Elf Lady doing the fuckery, and then, <laughs> the fuckery. And then she's like, I, she's like, blasts everybody out, right? Uh, then they end up leaving, so they are going about their own business, doing their own thing now. But she is really up to some shit. And we see Roxy tell her little story like, no, I don't want to do that because one day I'm going to be approached by this beautiful man. He's going to rescue me in a, in a labyrinth and we're going to make babies and it's going to be a beautiful fantasy. Like, okay. And she calls him, she calls her a kid for that. And, um, I think that even though she is like 60 years old or some shit like that, she is actually kind of young mentally in some ways. I think she's a little naive mentally in some ways. And that's when we get introduced to the other stuff. We see Rudy's little, uh, Rudy's little imagina imaginatory. He imagines this like fake scenario where they get on the boat and him and Eris, they, oh, they get attacked by all these things. So they get washed up on this island. They live their life. He gets his little hmm hmm. He does a little mm mm with her, you know? But that didn't actually happen. And she's just actually throwing the fuck up everywhere. He's got to heal her to get her over to the next island. Then all that stuff happens with the people. And yeah, that is essentially all the stuff that goes down in this episode. I'm really excited to see the next one. I'm mad that we got this cliffhanger. This season has been great so far. I'm loving it. And the characters, everything, just the story. Ah, we're gonna get introduced to Beast People now. Great, man. J I mean, just honestly, probably my favorite anime right now of, of this season for sure. So from here, I would love to know what you all thought of this episode. Please do leave a comment down below. How do you feel about Elf Lady and <laughs> what she be getting up to? Um, also, yeah, I think that instead of looking for Rudy, Roxy and the gang are going to be looking for Zenith, Lilia, and um, the kid. I don't know which kid it is, but I think it's Lilia's kid, maybe? Which is pretty interesting. So, a reunion, probably a bit further off in the distance. And by the way, if you are interested in the full-length reaction, you can join our Patreon. Link will be in the description below. Now, keep in mind, if you have something to say that will contain a spoiler, please use a spoiler tag. What I mean that by that is in a very brief sentence in quotes, address what you'll be talking about with your spoilers. Skip a line, type the word spoilers. Skip six lines, type out your spoiler comment. What everyone's gonna see is your very brief sentence in quotes with no spoilers, addressing what your spoilers are about to see the word spoilers and read more. If they click read more, they can read your spoilers. If they don't click it, they won't get spoiled. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, then like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one. I do anime episode reactions, manhwa chapter reactions, and reviews on anime and manga when I catch up to or finish a series that I really enjoy. So if that sounds like the type of content that you might be interested in, then please do subscribe to the channel. Until next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.